Hey, good afternoon, Am. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota. Just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2019 Mitsubishi Triton, the GLX sitting here in front of me. This thing's an absolute glamour. Uh, I can't wait to take you through the whole car. Um, obviously, I understand you're down south, that's no stress at all. We're very lucky up here. We're actually the uh, second biggest pre owned yard for Toyota in all of Australia. Uh, we, I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. You can see our Toyota Lexus showrooms over the street there, up the hill, and uh, all our service departments over the road there, too. Um, like I said, this is probably the bigger of our two yards up here. We've got another one up at uh, 77 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see we are literally jam-packed here at the moment. So I've got some absolutely awesome cars just like this Triton. So the whole idea of this video, just want to take you through the whole car in as much detail as I can. Um, all the service history, it's got full service history through Mitsubishi. And then, uh, you know, any little marks or anything I can find along the way as well. So uh, starting from the very, very front, we've got two genuine Mitsubishi keys here too. So central locker on that one works. And central locking on that one works perfectly as well so always a good sign uh, obviously the 38990 currently on sale making it one of the cheapest in Queensland for the Cajun Scott uh, obviously all drive away so that's all your stamps transfers the whole works all included for you and of course all our cars we guarantee no hail damage and no flood damage no write-offs or anything like that so no chips through that windscreen either just a tiny little bit of dust on the windscreen obviously uh, from sitting up here on the front row right on the highway so looking very tidy across the actual bonnet itself. Like I said, just little bits of dirt and stuff like that. These are all just little bits of dirt. They're all coming off of my finger. So looking very tidy through there, the rest of there. Same thing, just a... So very tidy across that actual bonnet. And then obviously down the passenger side across that wheel arch. Looking very clean. I did tilt these wheels out because I wanted to obviously show you a better look at them. So you got the Advani. Alloys with the uh, all terrain tyres there. Beautiful suspension set up through the middle there, too. Uh, so, obviously, you've got the lifted suspension on this one. It's very tidy through that inside and absolutely stacked the tread left there, too. So, even across the uh, front guard, try and get that camera underneath so you can have a look under there, too. Tiny little sort of stone chips just on the front, very, very minor. If that kind of thing is a concern, let me know. I'm sure we can uh, see if we can um, potentially get those touched up or something as well to help out. It's always stuff we can have a look at. Again, that's just all coming off in the hand. Very tidy through the front. Tiny little hairline one just there. Very, very fine. Nothing too bad. Again, we've got that, obviously these alloys the whole way around. And again, through the suspension and everything. In there, looking very, very tidy. I'm going to be shadow out of the way so you can see through there too. Let's lock ourselves out. What we got? So just the inside of the door cart here for you too. Central logging on, uh, sorry, the electric windows obviously on uh, all four doors there. Pretty tidy through the inside for sure. Tiny little sort of little scuffs in that plastic and just on there obviously from people catching their shoes jumping in and out so very light sort of marks there but nothing too bad at all same through the inside here no damage or anything to the dash looking very tidy through the inside there same thing with these seats very well looked after through the inside and across that roof as well tiny little mark at the back nothing too bad and really well looked after through those back seats there too. Uh, like I said, all your logbooks, manuals, everything's all on the inside here. Uh, so full service history, as I was saying. So 2019, first service, 2000 Ks. Mitsubishi, 2020 at 12. 2021 at 30. 2021 at 43. 22 at 51. And then actually it might be 52 or something, a little bit hard to read. And then finally through us. So when they come in, if they're due for a service, we get them done. So 69,000 Pacific Manor, so that's us. So full service history, majority, almost almost all of it through that Mitsubishi themselves. So can't ask for any better than that. Always get your pro rack, um, alloy rock set back to the top there. The crossbars as well. Very tiny down through the back. Try and get that camera up underneath for you. Give you a bit of a suss under there. So the door cards, child locks on both these rear doors too. Like I said, electric windows the whole way around. Same thing, tiny little bits of scuff in there, but nothing too bad at all. 
very clean through the back here. A couple of little tiny little foot marks on the back of that. Nothing to be concerned about. Obviously, got the arguments separate in the middle here. Got a little um, down there. So I was going to pull that forward. And so we got all your jack tools, everything through the back there. A little bit of storage as well. And all your child anchor points down the back there as well. Very nice and easy. That window. Just there. A little bit of wear through the, the tub as you expect. Obviously, being a second hand vehicle, they're always going to have some. Uh, wear through the trays and stuff, but not too bad at all. Tight end points, obviously, all through the back as well. Got three on each side for those guys. We've got the fuel inlet just over this side here, too. That's just those stickers that come from factory to stop rocks flicking up um, into the quarter panel because uh, into this tub because it sticks out a little bit from that front wheel that so just protects that a bit. Again, these advanty wheels all the way around and the stacks of tread left in there, too. Through your suspension. Through the back, spare tire in the back there as well. Full size spare. A couple of tiny little, tiny little stone chips just there and there. Very faint though. Try and get my shadow out of the way. A little chip out of that from the paint. A couple of little wear marks across the back on that bumper itself. We've got a little parking sensors across the back here too. Little marks across the, the back here and stuff, but nothing too bad. Also got these as well. It's a reverse camera tucked in the back. So it's tailgate there too. Inside. Look pretty tidy. Pretty clean down the uh, driver's side here again. Little tiny little stone chips just here and there. Very tidy on this side here too. The chassis and everything as well. Very well maintained. Again, just tiny little stone chips around the joint. Like I said, child anchor points on both rear doors. Very tidy through the inside here. side door here as well. Tiny little stone chips just there. They've tried to like touch them up already by the looks of it. So we'll just jump inside. Start this one up for you. So obviously you'd be in the driver's side we've got all the master controls so your window locks and your uh, window controls just there. Like I said a little bit of marks there. Obviously driver's side high sort of traffic area of the car. You got a bit of a height adjustment there too so you can ch change the pitch of that seat depending on what you feel comfortable with. Uh, fuel release is just there, bonnet release is just underneath. So I do pop that because I do want to show you under there as well. So we're going to start her up. And you do, being a manual, you do have to have obviously your foot on the clutch. It's a safety system for these guys, so it simply won't start unless you've got the foot on the clutch. So it just means that kids can't go jumping in there and starting the car and taking off. So 69,091 kilometers as it sits right now. So no engine lights or dash lights or anything like that. You obviously got your handbrake light and the seat belt, of course. Uh, now you've got a beautiful little setup in the middle there telling us that we're in two wheel drive. Um, if I were to change it from down here, from the two high to four high or four low, um, once you're in four high, all four of those wheels will basically get turned green. Once you're in four low, so lock center, uh, the little um, picture on the, on the display there in the middle will have a little center uh, piece with the diffus there too. So, And obviously all your traction control and everything's going to turn off along the side with it. Um, obviously uh, on the right hand side here, all your cruise control set up, uh, little pages buttons to, to flip between the different little menus down there. So when your next um, settings are, oh, sorry, when your next service is, you get average obviously trips, AMVs, average fuels, all that kind of stuff as well, all operated from up here on the steering wheel, so nice and easy. Uh, radio stuff, so you can change stations, AM, FM, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff from up there, and answer all your calls and hang up your calls from down here on the side as well. Uh, wipers are all up on the left-hand side, headlights are all over on the right, mirrors all up on the dash there, so left and right side of the car, you just adjust that one as you need to. Plenty of blank switches all over the joint, so if you want to put light bars, put lights, anything like that on the car, uh, you can use them. You don't have to go drilling holes in the dash or anything like that. Nice little display up here, nice big touchscreen display. So as soon as we chuck that into reverse, a little camera's gonna pop up and you can hear those sensors pick up the car behind us. So if you ever put a tow bar on there, you'll physically actually be able to see the bar itself. So it makes it really nice and easy for uh, backing up to trailers and stuff like that. Uh, you got your normal radio setup here as well. So AM radio, FM radio, 
and all your different obviously presets there too. So you can sit on that one. All your radio and everything as well, so we can tune that in. Um, put that up to say 99.5 for you. Da, 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 da. There you go, so working perfectly. So we can tune all those in as well. So your different media is there too. So you can jump between all your USBs, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff as well. And of course your little CD player at the top there. Um, as we come down, aircon speed, so fan speed, temperature, where you want them coming out of, hazard lights in the middle, little notifications telling you if anyone in the back's uh, let go of their seatbelt or anything like that too. Uh, those little parking sensors, if you don't like them, you can turn them on and off with that one. And of course your little USB there too. And an accessory plug there as well. Plenty of storage to the front, six speed transmission, obviously your four drive controls down the bottom. Real life handbrake, a bit of storage, a bit more storage, a little plug down the bottom. Uh, what we've got drop down handles the whole way around, solid handles the whole way around, front and back as well. And of course, all your visors, storage, and a little microphone for your Bluetooth up there as well. So, absolutely stunningly well looked after car. Um, I will leave this running for two seconds because I did pop that bonnet and I do want to show you under there. Very tidy through here. Engine bag. C14 Comoral, 4 cylinders, and a diesel. Very tidy for the inside here as well. Close that up. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for uh, your inquiry, and I uh, can't wait to hear from you soon.